This is NDTV. And you're watching Classics. Dr. Abdullah, there have been reports that in the process of these talks beginning, you have actually been asked to rework your proposals, your autonomy package. Is that correct? No, I, I don't think anything like this has emerged as yet. Because what we are talking about is that we have formed a committee and we would like the report to be discussed by their members that they would like to appoint in the committee, which I feel is, is important. Because every clause needs to be discussed and to be seen whether it is within the parameters or not within the parameters. So you're saying in effect that you're still waiting for the government to set up their equivalent committee. Do you see signs of that happening though? Well, I, I am hopeful, otherwise I wouldn't be here. I'm hopeful that something like this will emerge. After all, only by talking on a matter will you be able to find a solution. You cannot find a solution if you don't talk on it. Would you like this committee to be a group of ministers or would you like this to be an all-party committee that takes into account different party views? You see, by my talking to the other parties, it is important for them also to know what it is all about, you know, so that misconceptions can disappear. Mm. And that I have done. But I would be glad if Prime Minister first makes up his mind of making a committee of ministers because finally it is the government first that must see this. And at the same time, we are already on the process of meeting all the political leaders mm -hmm. to convince them of our point of view. Wherever they think we are wrong, we are ready to explain to them on the matter. So we are doing that job anyway at the present moment. There is one point of view that says Parliament session begins on the 24th. That will carry on for a few weeks. Why can't that be the forum for discussion of the autonomy report? Well, I don't mind any forum so long as it takes into account the report itself and then finds a way out of this situation that we are in. Basically, we want the people to feel that they are part of this great country and that their honor and dignity is safe in the country. That is all we are asking for. There is nowhere a question of our asking for Azadi or asking for merger with Pakistan or secession from India is not at all on our cards. There is confusion as to what will be the framework for this dialogue. Will it continue to be the autonomy report that was drafted by your government? I think you have to start somewhere. And if you have to start somewhere, you have got a, a, a starting point. Is this report? This confusion that has been spread in the nation that we are wanting to go to 53. And uh, I don't know where from this has all emerged. We are telling them that for God's sake, look at the deed of accession signed by the Maharaja of Kashmir. Look at the 1952 Delhi Agreement. Look at all these things. Look at the laws that you have promulgated under the state. Please see everything. And under that situation, see what is best for to win the people's uh, hearts and minds. There has been this great, um, some would say semantic, some would say ideological argument between autonomy and devolution. I think uh, there is, a, you see, there is, a, uh, uh, the state is a very different situation. Devolution is also part of the situation in the rest of the country. We have a special dispensation under Article 370 which makes it different from the rest of the states. And we are saying, please, for God's sake, take that into consideration. So a generalized devolution package is not what is going to work for Kashmir? How can it work? If, if they think it can work, let them convince us. We are not uh, hardliners or we're not saying that uh, here is the Lakshman Rekha and you are not going to cross this. There is no such thing. We are telling them that we, are, we have come with an open mind and for a free and frank discussion for making a better and a strong India. There has been talk that the 75 Accord between Indira Gandhi and Sheikh Abdullah can be an acceptable framework for this dialogue. I am not saying no. I am saying why can't that also be part of the discussion? If that Accord is to be taken into consideration, we must also take 
what has happened in these 25 years that it didn't work, that nothing was implemented from that. You say you don't want to go back into history, you say you want to look ahead. Yes. What is the core issue about autonomy that is specific to Kashmir? You see, if I tell you specifics now, it will be of no use. In the sense, report is right there. Hmm. And if the report is there, that is our baseline. We say we start with this baseline and work upwards. But the Prime Minister seems to have indicated that this report is not acceptable. We believe he has even drawn, their government has drawn out a list of reasons for their objections to this report. Let us hear them. You have not heard them yet? No. no. Has anyone in the country heard them? The point, that is why we say, after all, if I had come without a report, they would tell me, well, what are you going to talk? What is the thing that you're going to discuss? Where is the thing? Instead of all those talks, I have told them, here it is. Let us start discussing on this.